like um you know having this extensive background sometimes you feel too smart to do these things and you're like damn that's what made the money <laughs> <laughs> well then i try to do something more complex then i get then i don't get it done because it's too complex yeah and yeah so start simple start with something super simple and go from there hey get small win get, Dude, get some small win <laughs> Exactly to what you just said. I just got um, the Daily Laws by by Robert Greene. So it just came okay. like a week or two ago, and it, basically this book it's it's different than his other books because he literally just has like a daily law for every every day, and it's like broken down into sections. But to what you just said, um, I'm in the mastery part and he has this other book called mastery. I don't know if you're too familiar with Robert Green. I have not read his book. Oh man. So he's like one of my, he's, he is probably my top um, author after I read like 48 laws of power, like that, like shifted my whole way of thinking about life. So I, I highly recommend that. But um, in this book, he talks about how whatever your childhood inclinations were, that's probably what you'd be great at, right? So, I mean, me, like I'm sure a lot of other engineers, I was always playing Legos, right? So I'm like, okay, Legos building type of thing. But then I'm like, but what was I doing with them? Well, I was building like airplanes and motorcycles and houses. So I'm thinking like, okay, you know, naturally that's the stuff I like. I'm in the aerospace industry. I'm like, I'm into motorcycles. I'm into like real estate investing. So it's like, it's almost like the, the what, what he talks about, you know, like Da Vinci, for example, when he was a young child, he loved uh, drawing in very, very high detail. So that's how when he became an adult, he had already that natural inclination to, um, be a very very detailed drawing and be able to look at the structure of things um so basically like in, that's kind of what he's saying that if you look at your childhood inclinations and basically pursue them now as an adult that's what's going to be fulfilling satisfying and that you're going to be great at that's interesting i'll have to think about that and i will i'll pick up some, <laughs> of, some of his books because so that is it's like Oh, that's good information. <laughs> because I'm always kind of trying to think, like, what is my, like, where should I go? Like, what's, I kind of know the thing, some of the things I enjoy, but what's like a kind of to, to try to fine tune that and to get into my passion a little, a little deeper.